Hey folks, so um, I got the sword rack up, so I finally felt comfortable doing the alternate angle now for the break room. Yay! Coming back to some semblance of normalcy. I still need to figure out getting some more stuff up on the wall because this room is still a little echoey. I am working on that. Anyways, so I have... Uh, actually, not just me. Liz and I, this uh, past weekend, when we got to spend time together, watched Hannah Gadsby's latest special on Netflix called Douglas. Now, I loved Nanette. I say loved. I was moved by Nanette, and I thought it was an amazing piece of work. It's the kind of special that to say that you love it is is a, an odd use of words because it is a lot to take in. And that obviously didn't go down well with everybody, either the special itself or the fact that I went to bat for it. Um, and apparently it still ticks people off because when the first trailer for the new special Douglas came out and then when it actually hit, there was a new round of negative comments on my original Nanette video. People have really held a grudge on this. So, first off, Douglas was great. It's not the same beast as Nanette. It is a very different thing just from the get-go. And what's great is that Hannah Gatsby is very upfront about that. Actually, even in the trailer, the clips that they use make it clear that this is going to be a different beast and she's not trying to recreate Nanette, which is good for two reasons. The first is that probably was lightning in a bottle, and for her to try and recapture that again probably would have been painful. And the second, as she herself pointed out, and obviously this isn't something I would have known until her saying it, she processed so much of her trauma that she was working through into that show, she didn't actually have that much to tap for a whole new show. So, that having been said, even though it is different from Nanette, and it probably bears a closer resemblance than Nanette to a traditional comedy special, although she still goes about it in her own way, if you didn't like Nanette, you will probably not like Douglas. I think that's something I can say comfortably. Nanette and what Hannah Gadsby does in that, whether you find it funny or not, whether it makes you uncomfortable or not, if it's not your bag, if it didn't work for you, regardless of whether or not you decide to get a uh, complete hate on for the thing, if it wasn't your thing, then this probably won't be too. And unlike Nanette, which I did and still do actually feel is important viewing, even if you end up not enjoying it, and actually potentially even more so if you don't enjoy it, this is not a special that I would push in that way. This is much more, if you like what you've seen of this, of this person and what she does, then you will have a very good time. She does, um, and she does, again, and I think this is regardless of whether or not you think she's actually funny. And I do. She does something at the front end that is very, very, very clever. And I think it's clever even if every joke fell flat, which they don't, but even if it did which is the opening section of the show is not only laying out her intentions for what the show is for what and making clear what the show won't be but she actually lays out everything she's going to do she breaks it down segment by segment and i can't remember them all now off the top of my head but she says you know she's going to start with observational humor she's going to tell a story about uh, the, about being at the dog park. She's going to um, share uh, an incident she had with a doctor. She is going to talk about having autism. She's going to address uh, some of the common criticisms of Nanette. She's going to then do what they accused her of doing in Nanette, which is to actually give a lecture, and she does. Best part, it's an art history lecture, and it's great. And honestly, that, so to go back to Nanette, that 
was actually a big part of what I really admired about what she did with the net because she took something that she because she knows art history. She studied art history. And she took her perception of art history and her understanding of it and the sort of common wisdom around art history and particularly with regards to Picasso in that, and she fed her perceptions and her worldview through the lens of Picasso and what she actually thought of him and use that to feed into what she ultimately did at the end of that special. And here she shows off her knowledge of art history again, not to the same end, but to give a clearly educated and learned and informed perspective that is still coming at all of it from a different angle. And it is funny at least I felt it was, even that section, even though it is clearly more uh, actually a lecture, but it is still funny, or at least I found it to be. The tail end, the last five minutes, just about killed me. Because it's so rapid fire with what she lands on the back end of this thing. It comes so fast and furious that, um, and it wasn't just me because I my cheeks hurt from laughing, and Liz's stomach hurt from laughing. So, and, and it was solid up to that point, but she, I felt she really knocked it out of the park, at, at the back end especially. Oh, and there is, <laughs> there is one other thing, and she ties this into her experience as someone with autism. Uh, she talks about anti-vaxxers. And she's also not kind, but again, she's up front at the front end of this thing. So, here's what I would say. If you find yourself on the fence at all, either you were torn about Nanette or you didn't watch Nanette and you want to try and watch something from her that maybe isn't as heavy or as divisive as Nanette was, watch the, the intro section of this special, of Douglas. It's about the first 10 minutes where she lays out what she intends to do. And if you think, I'll, I'm on board for what she says she's got, because it's nothing's a shock. She's not she's not um, tricking anyone. She is not uh, you know pulling a fast one. What she says she's going to do is exactly what she then does. So if you're wavering at all, you can safely watch the first ten minutes. And like any well written essay, it summarizes it's it, she summarizes all her intentions right there. So if you get through that and you think, yeah, I'm on board for this. I think you'll like it. If you watch that and go, mm, I don't know about this, you know what? Bow out, it's fine. But definitely, if you like Nanette, watch this. Just, again, realize it's not the same thing. It's not trying to be the same thing. But I thought it was fantastic. I really loved it. I am glad that she, has, that she made the decision to continue working through the medium of, of live performance and of comedy. I've I've been really impressed with what she's done. And I like, more than anything, I like the way in which she approaches things. Because, again, I think this is true whether you actually find her jokes to be funny or not. I don't know how anyone can actually take a look at what she does and how she constructs her, her jokes and her specials and argue that she isn't putting in a lot of work and a lot of clever use of how comedy tends to be used. What she's doing is very well thought out. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. Something can be well done but still not be to your taste. But anyone who cares about the art of comedy, stand-up comedy, should really be taking a close look at what it is she does because even if you don't think it's funny, her construction and her approach and the angles at which she comes at things is unusual and very clever. At least I dang well think it is. So those are my thoughts on Douglas. I recommend it. I think most people who were really gung-ho have probably seen it already, but yeah, go for it. If nothing else, the explanation of why it's called Douglas. It's, it's dang well worth it for that story. So, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you are all being well. And, you know, usual stuff like subscribe, I have other channels, I have a Patreon, all those things, but...
Don't worry about it too much. I mean, I appreciate it, but, you know, no pressure. We take a laid-back attitude here. So just come on back next time you need a break.